important parts for this is that besides Blackout, which is similar to like Fortnite's Battle Royale, there's also other game modes such as like multiplayer, which is very different from the actual Blackout game mode. Where you see this, you drop in with absolutely nothing. So bare minimum, just nothing. You have to go and find everything. Where multiplayer, you get a sort of pick ten, pick ten setup. You get ten slots, pick ten items. Those ten items can help you customize your different play styles from. Like to sit back and just kind of like hang out, wait for people, or actually rush in there and actually kind of go after people. Especially with the sizes of the teams as well. In this, it's either you're alone, you have you know, a buddy just you and him for duos, or three to four people, and that's pretty much it. Where most players, about five to six people on set teams with set areas of respawning back in where you don't get a respawn in that sense. Once you die, you're out, and you have to start a new game. So, what I did right there is an easy pickoff because. They, uh, what's unique about this is there are certain areas where zombies spawn, and uh, there's a mystery box that's locked until you kill all the zombies that spawn. And what I did right there, he had killed the zombies for me, and as he was opening the mystery box, I was able to pick him off really quickly when he was off guard. So right now I'm just kind of stealing all the stuff that he had, all the perks, all the ammo and bullets. Bring up what they said before with the zombies as well. It's not normally a part of something like this that you think with other players as well. They don't add any added like incentive to killing them. It's just an obstacle to wait. So you don't get extra kills for killing them. They kind of attack you virtually and eliminate you. So you always got to be careful, especially where you are. If you're in like a smaller building, like a small area, and they trap you in there, you got to be really careful. If you don't have the right like, equipment to actually take them out. You can get you can get uh, trapped in there and being be over in a second, you don't even know really why. So as you can see, all the stuff at the bottom screen, I popped at least five perks right there. So they each give me a different uh, a different perk. And uh, the one that I'm about to take advantage of right now is uh, I'm able to see vehicles from a short range away. So you can see the white BZB, and then there's a red one, which means enemies on it. So I was able to see them through the mountain and uh, kind of get the heads up on them right here. <coughs> I'm trying to play it safe here so I don't shoot just yet. I don't want him to hide behind a grave or something like that. I want to be able to kill him right away so he doesn't take any of my 200% health off. So I'm kind of just scoping out the situation, figuring out what I'm going to do, what I'm going to strike. So he's kind of investigating what happened here. He sees there's a, uh, a bag from a dead body and he's kind of just looting it right now. So what I'm debating right here is whether I should throw a uh, monkey bomb. Which actually, if you throw it, it uh, spawns up and they attack the opponent. And I'm just looting him for all this stuff right now, getting more ammo, more health, and just different equipment. <clears throat> There, where as they opened up the larger map, uh, it's a culmination of a bunch of, a bunch of different old maps too. 